Hello, welcome back to a new lesson on the harmonic oscillator. In the previous lesson, we derived the equation of motion for the damped and forced harmonic oscillator. We found that the motion had two parts a transient behavior that goes away quickly and a periodic motion with the frequency of the external forcing. We saw that there is a frequency for which the oscillator is at resonance. This means that the amplitude of the oscillations is maximum for that frequency. Let's explore this a bit more. The frequency of resonance is equal to the square root of omega naught square minus 2 beta squared. This is the third frequency we've encountered so far. First it was omega naught, the natural frequency of the oscillator, given by the square root of k over m. Then it was omega prime, the frequency of the damped oscillations, which is the square root of omega naught square minus beta squared. And now omega of resonance. Looking at the expressions, we can write that for underdamping, omega naught is greater than omega prime, which is greater than omega of resonance. Remember that for overdamping, there are no oscillations for the damped oscillator. If damping is small, beta small, then the resonance frequency tends to the natural frequency. But look at the amplitude of the force oscillations. The denominator tends to zero, and this amplitude tends to infinity. We could design an experiment where we change the frequency of the external forcing and then measure the amplitude of the oscillations. If we perform this experiment, we can plot the amplitude with respect to the frequency. In this case, we find a big shaped plot. The peak gets narrower as the dumping fades away. Remember that the energy of the system is proportional to the square of the amplitude. One way to quantify the goodness of transfer of energy to the oscillator is with the quality factor. This is the resonance frequency over 2 beta. If damping is small, beta small, the quality factor is high. If there is a lot of damping, the quality factor will be small. For small damping, this quality factor can be measured from the previous plot of amplitude versus frequency. The quality factor can be approximated by frequency over frequency of resonance over delta omega. This delta omega is the frequency difference between those frequencies that correspond to an amplitude equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times the maximum amplitude. You can have Q values of around 100 to around 10,000 for mechanical systems. For atomic systems, that raises to about 10 million. Electric circuits go to about 10 to the 5. For example, when you tune your car radio, what you're doing is looking for the resonance of the frequency of your favorite radio station. Lasers are set to emit in just one frequency, but that's not exactly true. There's a width to that frequency, but for some lasers you can reach to a Q factor of about 10 to the 14. That gives a very, very narrow line width for the frequency of those lasers. Let's study an electronic sample. Consider a circuit composed of a resistor in series with an inductor and in series with a capacitor, and in series with an AC power supply. The voltage delivered by the power supply is given by Vmax time cosine of omega t. From what we know from electricity and magnetism, the voltage across the inductor is L times di dt, which, because the current is the derivative of the charge with respect to time, we can write as LQ two dots. The potential across the resistor is RI, or RQ dot, and the potential across the capacitor is Q over C. Here L is the inductance of the inductor, R is the resistance of the resistor, and C is the capacitance of the capacitor. From the voltage drop across the elements of the closed circuit, we have that LQ two dots plus RQ dot plus Q over C is equal to Vmax cosine of omega t. Let me divide the equation by L and this is our old friend, the differential equation of the damped and forced harmonic oscillator. 
to compare with the case of the spring, then the natural frequency omega naught is the square root of 1 over Lc. You can check that the units of this is units of frequency. Then the damped parameter beta is r over 2L. So we know how to write the equation for the charge. Delta is the phase which in this case is If we derive, we get the equation for the current as a function of time. The voltage across the inductor is L times di dt. We can again find the resonance frequency. So this is an example of harmonic oscillator outside mechanics. There are plenty of more examples in atomic physics, electromagnetism, optics, acoustic biology, or even chaos. So stay tuned for more harmonic oscillator, and meanwhile, may the science be with you.